Hey everyone, this is John Armas, aka Ace Bullion here, and today I'm going to give you, well, a bit of everything video, and I'm going to try to do it as quickly as I can, and to sum up a bunch of stuff, uh, things that have been niggling me, and a review, and a show and tell, and well, just a bunch of stuff, so it will be kind of an explosive video. Anyway, let's crack on, shall we? First off, boom, stock markets. Major, major, major hit right now. They stop trading for 15 minutes at the moment because it plunged 7%. Now, if it plunges to 13%, then they're going to do it again. And if it plunges to 20%, basically everyone's just going to go home, apparently. Well, we'll see. <clears throat> anyway, Enough of that. Yeah, so gold and silver and platinum and copper and zinc and uh, aluminium, uh, tin, etc. They're all down. Um, am I worried? No. No, I'm not worried, honestly. Because I still have my backup plans. As I'm sure most of you guys do. And if you don't, you should have had. Or you should have now. Now, what is a backup plan? A backup plan is quite simply where, A, you have cash. You also have um, your money tied up into, let's say, a savings account, into various easy-to-get areas. Now, will that help you for everything? Well, not for everything as a whole. But, um, you know, it's one of those things. So, I, I guess that's going to kind of bring me on to the next part, Right? Because right now the world's in doom and gloom. Let's zoom out of this here. World's in doom and gloom. And oh my God, we should all be running out. And uh, by the way, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. And I don't really care. Um, but everyone is running out and trying to get their hands on loads and loads and loads of these. And guess what? I've always had loads of these. Do you know why? Because I work in a workshop. Um, I get nails, I have <laughs> pretty much anything that can happen, I have. So I probably have a case of these, which are about, I don't know, 50 of them, sat on one of my shelves. I also have blue roll, and I'm talking, you know, industrial size. I mean, I can't even show you guys in scale. Um, those are also stocked in shelves. Um, now Why? Well, because actually at the time I bought these in bulk and I thought, you know, hey, why not? You know, it's not the end of the world. It's not something I'm going to rush out. I don't need to, you know, worry about. And they're easy. They're little travel ones. My wife has one in her car. Um, my boys have one in their school bags. These are things that we always keep around the house. You have children. You need them, right? First lesson as a parent Make sure you have plenty of anti-back stuff. So, do you need this? No. No, you don't. You, you seriously don't need that. What do you need? Well, you know, you need something like this, okay? <laughs> it's just soap. I don't... <laughs> Honestly, I don't care what kind of soap it is, okay? This one is what? A bubblegum flavor or something? I don't know. Or a smell? Yeah, there you go. Bubble... I, I don't recommend eating it. Soap, perfect. It says it clean, it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. There you go. Soap works. Okay, whoopie do. <sighs> do you need to go out and do you need to go and buy yourself a huge thing of, you know, vinyl, latex, um, nitrile sterile, uh, gloves and all of these kind of things. No, but you know what? I have loads of these as well because I use them while I'm in the workshop. Kind of important. Covered on that. What about face masks? Uh, this is just one small example, and I got the little wraparounds as well. You know, face masks are a face mask. Whoopie freaking do that day. Yeah. Unless I'm going out and unless I'm doing something that is, you know, uh, you know, I use these in my workshop. 
I have many variants and you know, I'm okay. I'm covered on this front. Basic thing guys for the coronavirus is hygiene. Hygiene, 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 okay? My gripe with the coronavirus is over, but it, it really truly is. It's about hygiene. It's about the fact that, you know, if you are going out somewhere, you know, avoid kind of anything where you're going to be in a very confined space. Um, these are precautions that we should be taking. It will eliminate this pandemic, okay? Um, and yes, I have heard, you know, through official channels, this is all what we need to know. The other thing, um, wash your hands frequently. Do not, whatever you do, if even if you don't have the coronavirus, for God's sakes, you know, if you sneeze, sneeze into a tissue, bring along some tissues with you guys, you know, and then dispose of them and then wash your hands. Um... You're going to keep yourself safe and you're going to keep other people safe. Okay. I've seen lots of videos. It's funny as heck. Um, it's a joke. All right. We're done with the coronavirus. Let's move on to part two. The Samsung S20 5G phone. Yep. Okay. Don't know what's on here. So we're going to see, but do I need to worry? No, I don't think so. This thing is a right pain in my backside, just for the record, okay? It is honestly the worst thing ever for a phone. I don't like it. I am still adding my apps. I'm still adding different features and stuff to it. It is horrible. Here's the main reason why. Uh, I shall try to zoom in and let you see if I can. Look above here. I have one bar of signal. Now, apparently, let's just turn that off. Apparently, the main reason for this, okay, is that because it's a 5G phone, you need to have 5G coverage. Otherwise, it doesn't work properly. Who would have thought? Now, the company that's selling it, that sold it to me, who I have yet to still actually contact again. This is why I haven't been doing a lot of YouTube videos at the moment. Technology sucks, okay? But they didn't send me the right SIM card. So we've ended up with uh, two SIM cards have gone in and I will be contacting them with my findings and information. This is actually much smaller than the Galaxy, uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Um, to give you an idea, <clears throat> that was my old, this is what I'm filming on right now, okay? Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. This thing will easily fit inside it and rattle about. Yeah, gives you an idea. So, you know it's Ace Bullion when I, even all my products, um, or everything that I do pretty much has an Ace on it somewhere, right? And I'll, I'll be looking for one for the S8 Plus. So, to kind of wrap this up and to have some fun and to do things a little bit quick as well, oh, got my box. Yes, my hallelujah box. This is what's going to make me feel normal. Because I've been busting my butt on just... Well, actually, I really haven't been busting anything, really. Let's, let's be honest here. Um, this is just one of them that I haven't scratched off on the lucky coins yet. But, um, yeah, as you can probably see here, let's lift this up. Uh, I have been filling this box very 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 much so in fact there's only three spots left this was at the start of the year you say no not really ace there's no way that could be well actually there is that's one there's another all full and 
and there we have the bottom layer again all full and you know I've been doing lots of videos reviews on stuff um, you can see there I got another lucky coin uh, in fact I've actually kept uh, the bits a bit separate uh, but yeah um, it's just quite interesting when I get to go back look at some of the great things that you know I actually bought after reviewing things because you know um, if I'm going to review something I might as well and if I really like it I, I really do buy them so yeah just kind of one of those things but the overall bit was <clears throat> we are in a situation now where everything is up in the air and you know I'm not going to tell you guys you know don't panic I'm not going to tell you to panic actually you know what I am going to tell you don't panic because at the end of the day this virus is a virus and it will go away okay look at the statistics everyone seriously look at them closely you, I can't stress enough basic hygiene that's it it is a very simple easy thing you know basic hygiene like soap hand sanitizers tissues you probably can't see that but hey there you go tissues okay all of these kind of things will help fight overall the coronavirus and you know if if you can avoid having a risk a risky environment then do so if you can't avoid it then you know make sure that you have a bar of soap at least okay a bar seriously a bar old-fashioned school bar i know my god how many of you still use them <gasps> guess what go out and buy a bar of soap seriously put it in a little plastic thing if you want to or have it in a ziploc bag for your own bet for you know for, for your own personal hygiene use soap simple okay you, you really don't need to be ocd and worrying about i need to have hand sanitizer and everything else because this will work just fine this will dry the heck out of your skin um and it's not just this brand just for the record it's not brand related here at all okay i'll also say things about packages here's the real thing guys okay 48 hours of a package coming to you okay or from when whenever you order the package so let's say you ordered it on a monday okay at nine o'clock on wednesday at nine o'clock 48 hours later that virus is gone it cannot be sustained on any surface it needs a host it needs you it needs me I'm not going to freaking have it, I'll tell you that much. And if I do, you know what? I'll take precautions. That's what's suitable. You know, I don't think everyone needs to go and run out and be panic buying stuff either. You know, your gold, your silver, your platinum, all of which have dropped dramatically, okay? In fact, as I'm looking right now over that way, I'm watching gold still plunge down. So, you know, that's not going to save you. Physical cash, yeah, that's really good to have. Make sure you have plenty of physical cash. But, you know, I, I've also heard jokes about that. So, you know, on a, another basis here, all cash is dirty. So, you know what? Send it to me. I'll dispose of it properly for you. There you go. I think that's an easy way to do it. You know, if you are worried about something, wear a mask. That's simple. If you really want to be kind of OCD, you know, hey, bring some gloves out with you. You know, I will tell you one of the things here. Gloves. When I'm filling up my Jeep with uh, 
you know, gasoline or petrol, okay? I'll wear gloves. I mainly wear gloves because I fill up my wife's car and hers is a diesel. And I hate the smell of that. I really hate the smell of that. Um, but we have separate types of gloves for that. Um, and that way I'm touching something. I get in the car. But by the time I get in the car, I've already disposed of the gloves safely in the trash bin. It's gone. So there you have it. Kind of a little bit of everything, mishmash, all saved. I still have a package for Mr. Joe Durbin that I really need to open up. Um, and I am sorry I haven't been around. I have been stressed out with technology at the moment. It is blowing my mind, not in a good way, just for the record. And for all of you machinists out there who like, um, you know, Mach 3 and, you know, all of these programs, Oh my God, setting up a brand new machine is a pain in the backside. Now, for those of you who just kind of just went white and, you know, snowed over that, um, I have a CNC machine, uh, brand new. It also has a water jet uh, cutter and you have to set up what they call endpoints. Okay, so you have to know where your, your back is, left, right front, center, et cetera, et cetera, in the middle. And then you have to also take into account whatever bit you're using, how deep that is, um, you know, onto the collet, which is the little nut that holds it onto your spinny motor. And, oh, but that's okay. And of course your bed, which is the main area that you put whatever you're cutting on, on, there you go. But you have to set up the parameters and you have to set up speeds. You have to set up so much jargon. I'm not going to mention it. And I have been sat down for the past three days working very hard in my workshop on that. And then dealing with idiots who don't know anything about the, you know, the Samson S20 phone. Also dealing with idiots at the Royal Mail who thought that, you know, compensating me on a 500 pound package eight pounds and 95 pence is a good idea. Um, so, <laughs> no, 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 no. Anyway, this is long enough. I'm sorry I've kept you, but you know, hey, look, hygiene, 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 okay? Keep on stocking, guys. Look, take advantage of the prices. Watch them, buy when you, you can. Don't overbuy during this period, okay? Seriously, do not overbuy. You know, you're... Don't put yourself in a financial position, I'm telling you this now, where you spend so much money and it all plummets. I've seen this happen to a lot of good people and I've seen them go bankrupt. Um, so use common sense, only buy what you could afford and buy what you like. And if you are looking to make a profit later on, look at what is available to resell. Now, some of the premium coins might actually be a really dang good buy right now uh, versus generics. Oh, but generics are a good way if you're stocking up in bulk. So anyway, that's my two cents. Um, I hope you have a good day wherever you are. Sorry for this kind of ramble and wonderful bits and bobs of silver phone washing up you name it it's all there but i wanted to let you know that well this is going to be the last time i film on this camera i believe and also you know just be safe use common sense you know um wash your hands on a regular basis and bring tissues with you it's so dang simple we could stop this okay Thank you for watching. Have a great day wherever you are. This is Ace Bullion. I am signing out. Have a great day. Bye-bye.